how important it is to learn stochastic calculus if he wants to work in quantitative finance. Now, stochastic calculus is not used in uh, all areas of quantitative finance. Uh, it's primarily used uh, only in uh, pricing of uh, derivative assets. Uh, but other than that, uh, you will not find uh, uses of stochastic calculus in uh, other areas of uh, quant finance. So if you work um, with uh, various banks in the pricing of uh, derivatives and validation of models related to pr pricing of derivatives, then you will find stochastic calculus to be the most important uh, topic and that will be uh, a requirement uh, for you right if you want to uh, find jobs in such uh, in such places but outside of that it's not much used uh, if you work as a, at a trading firm or at an asset management firm pension funds and and mutual funds and so on uh, you will not find much of use of stochastic calculus there are some people maybe doing some experiments here and there but most of it is uh, doing some statistical analysis like regression um, or doing simulation optimizations and so on right in uh, risk modeling areas like in credit risk modeling area you will not find any use of stochastic calculus you will be using mostly regression models econometric models uh, in many areas you will be using only time series models uh, well some people might argue time series models are also part of stochastic modeling well stochastic modeling is not necessarily just stochastic calculus right but yeah you know you could also loosely say that you know some areas of stochastic uh, calculus is also used in time series modeling uh, but yes some basic time series modeling is used in most uh, trading firms um, techniques such as uh, arima modeling uh, autoregressive models moving average models uh, or the arima uh, the autoregressive integrated uh, moving average model arima model or the arch model or gartz model for volatility and understanding volatility and, and forecasting volatility in returns and and prices uh, you can have also use you know modeling techniques such as uh, the uh, the ecm and and there are other modeling techniques such as you know vector autoregression and so on so um to answer your question stochastic more stochastic calculus is used primarily on in derivative pricing so if you work in some areas of derivatives then only you will be using stochastic calculus the reason some people ask this question to me is because stochastic calculus is perhaps the most difficult area of quantitative finance because you'll be learning uh, quite a bit of uh, mathematics uh, and that and it's very theoretical so you have to understand at a very theoretical level uh, you have to understand the equations and the derivations of these equations and that can be challenging for many people especially the ones who are not very comfortable with mathematics even if you are moderately comfortable with mathematics you can find it very challenging i know even good guys you know people who actually understand mathematics uh, they find it uh, problematic you know i i and know people who come from data science background who have studied data science uh, machine learning algorithms or computer science algorithms such as you know the the all kinds of computer science algorithms even they find stochastic calculation quite challenging because it's it's very abstract and can be uh, a bit of a challenge for me but if you have done your masters in in statistics or or mathematics um, or even physics quite sure you have studied already some stochastic uh, calculus so for you to extend that to use this in finance is straight pretty straightforward but for the ones who have not studied it it can be a bit challenging initially but uh, what i suggest to, to people is that you don't have to understand each and every step of the derivations as a beginner you know understand just the formula the final formula understand the intuition behind it uh, some interviews are a bit hell bent on derivations, but they are not too many, right? Uh, there are interviewers who are fine as long as you understand the the intuition behind the formula and the uses of the formula, and not per se everything related to the derivations. But there are some interviewers who are very particular about that, you know. So you are un it's un you are unlucky if you have um, 
you have such an interview or taking your interview but most people will not well some people will not uh, do that um regarding jobs i would say many quant jobs will require you to have um, stochastic calculus knowledge um, many us banks are into derivatives the derivative business has gone down quite drastically in the last 15 years so uh, it used to be one of the biggest business for many banks in the world but that has come down after the financial crisis of 2008 but there's still quite uh, a lot of business in that area and models are built many theoretical models are built there and you as a quant if you want uh, to work there you need to understand you need to learn stochastic calculus you need to understand stochastic calculus to be able to understand you know black soul models and so on for pricing of options uh are there quants who have probably never studied stochastic calculus yes in fact many quants i have uh, come across that many of them have been heard about stochastic calculus they come from a uh, data science background learning they have done some statistical analysis machine learning they work in the credit modeling side but have never seen a stochastic calculus book um all right if you have any questions uh, let me know as always Thanks guys. See you next time.